All right, guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the multiplayer XP system. So this is the one right here on the marketplace. And this is a, an XP system that has leveling built in, multiplayer, single player. <clears throat> uh, it's really good on performance and has a easy save and load recall function or can easily be saved and loaded. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. So um, I added this to a blank zombie project and we're going to get right into it. So let's implement it right in. So if I start my project, there's nothing on my screen. It's just a blank project. So I'm going to add this in by going to my third person character. And you could do the same with your game as well, whatever, whatever template or whatever you're using. So the first thing you do is you go to add component and you add the BPXB controller. And then I've also made a little blueprint for you guys. If you're using the zombie survival template, you can copy this from here. And you can paste it here on event begin play. And all you do is hold control, take this off of here, plug it in there, and plug this in here. Compile and save. And if you guys are just starting here and you open up your third person character and you want to find event begin play, the quickest thing to do is just type in right here. Event begin play, it'll take you right over to where you have to be. And then you can plug this in. So compile and save. And just like that, when I start, I'll have my XP bar at the top of the screen. So when I shoot the zombies, it doesn't do anything. So let's set that up real quick. I'm going to go to my base zombie right here. And then what you're going to want to search for is, I think it's client zombie dead. Yeah, client zombie dead right here. And what I do is right here, I cast to third person character right there. And I get my player pawn. And then I get my component. XP controller. And then I'm going to add XP for that. So add XP right there. Plug that in. And I'm going to give myself 700 XP so I can test the level system and make sure that works too. So compile and save. You could also do this same code right here for if you want to give XP for opening doors. You can copy this, you go into your door blueprint, like right here, edit it, and then when it's opened, open door, you could almost do it like this. You could go like that, I think, I hope. I'm going to set the cost to 22. So when I open this door, it should give me XP too. Yeah. So let's try that out. So now, when I kill the zombies, I get 700 XP, and it levels me up. And when I open this door, it also gives me XP. So that works exactly how it should. The only problem with this template, I'm not going to get into trying to do it because I've done it so many times, but when I try to implement a save system, it never recalls the XP properly because I think it's on an init function when it starts and it just doesn't recall things properly. It just gives you a ton of problems and issues. It never works. But as a whole, this is a great system for somebody wanting to learn about XP systems. But putting it into a, your main project commercially, I would not recommend the system. You're going to have a ton of issues with the XP loading and saving because there is no load or save system. It just isn't in the template. Like you can, you can call the XP. Like you can go off of your XP control and you can get your current XP and your level. But when you recall these values, it messes things up. So you guys can give this a try yourself if you decide to buy it. But I highly recommend checking out something else. This looks great, feels great, easy to implement. But once you start really getting into the meat of it and trying to get it into your project you're going to run into some issues and I think you're going to end up switching to a different system as well. Uh, there's a couple I recommend. I'm not going to get into them here, but I'll definitely have another video recommending some other ones. And another thing I want to talk about is if you do buy this system, do, <laughs> don't leave a bad review on this page or don't complain about the save and load system in the Discord because you will get banned. They actually banned me from the Discord for complaining about the save and load features not being included and everybody else that complained about it got kicked out and banned too 
So don't complain about it, and you'll have probably a decent time with the demo project. So overall, I'd say I'd rate this out of five stars, probably a 2.5 stars, because it's it's good for, I guess, baseline in your project, maybe prototyping. If you don't need a save system, you'll probably get by just fine with this. Or if your save resets every time that you start a game, that'd be fine. But other than that, 2.5 out of stars. Hope you guys enjoyed this and have a great day.